Hello, everyone. Welcome to another uh, episode of Sophie Radio. We have a special topic for today. It is all about fatherhood, and the theme of our talk is asking dads questions you're too afraid to ask. I am your host for this uh, episode. I'm Bob, and I'm not yet a father. Uh, let's just point that out. I have here one of our, one of the many fathers of Sophie, our guest speaker for this afternoon, Sean Luxin. Well, uh, I hope I'm able to answer those questions, Bob. Uh, with 13 to 14 years of fatherhood uh, on my belt, uh, I hope to God I sign up for the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> right on. So basically. How this will go is, this is just going to be a simple Q&A. I'm, I'm going to shoot questions to you, Sean, and uh, please answer them with all honesty. I'll try my best. <laughs> so um, a, lot, a lot of us would like to know, um, and by the way, this is the first question. How many kids do you have? Um, let's see. I usually just count it as two, two eldest. Oh, okay. but first one's my wife, so I guess <laughs> legally it's just one. The wife is a bit more spoiled than the the kiddo. Happy wife, happy life, as to say. That's right. That's a common common phrase for all of us men in general. Anyways, um, how many kids did you plan on having? Actually, uh, just one of one. Bob, uh, just to prove that, well, I'm not shooting blanks. Once <laughs> enough for me, buddy. Once enough. All right, but um, if you, if I would ask. How many kids is too many kids? I would say um, you'd have one too many if you'd start uh, missing out on like uh, providing them the best that you can, like education, housing, the usual stuff. Um, if you have to think of uh, budgeting schooling, like uh, having one kid stop while the other one continues, now that that's one too many if you ask me if you could afford it why not have a dozen if you could afford it point taken sir i'm just gonna jot down some notes here for myself (laughs) recall the time when you and your partner found out that you were expecting what did you feel um sorry what did you feel knowing that you were going to become a a dad okay um i guess uh, a little backtrack there um well (laughs) Let's just say I got my girl pregnant before we got married. Um, so when I found out that she was um, delayed with her period, um, if you could only see me that day, you'd see me with my silly green grin. And the only thing that went through my mind, and I kid you not, was, thank God. I'm not shooting blanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. That's the first thing that came to mind, buddy. Thank God I'm not shooting blanks. <laughs> yes, sir. Did fatherhood change you at all? I would say yes. Um, not just fatherhood, but the marriage in general. Um, it kind of teaches you that, uh, I guess, responsibility <laughs> and uh I always thought of it this way uh when i was still single being the youngest uh i would have been my mom and dad's uh, center of the universe uh, think of me as the son back then when i got married well uh, i became the earth I, my world revolved around <laughs> a wife <laughs> when i became a father well you could say i'm the moon now uh, <laughs> the wife is the earth and well uh, the kid's the sun. She's the center of our universe. That is some some explanation. But I will still take note of it. Just for future reference. How about your hobbies um, back when you were single? Are you still um, doing those uh, now that you're a dad? Some to, uh, to an extent. Like uh, when I was single, I was... One of them hardcore gamers in the sense that I open up and close cafes, uh, just gaming <laughs> all day. Um, nowadays, I'm limited to mobile gaming, so there's that. <laughs> Did your kids ever inherit that from you, or would you want them to inherit that? 
Well, yeah, she did. Um, <laughs> it drives the wife crazy <laughs> because it's me and the kiddo <laughs> talking about games. I mean, that's some um, that's some kind of bonding, if you ask me. Anywho, um, uh, we have here another question. Do you think there's an ideal age to become a father? I'd say no, man. Um, oh, for me, well, I guess as they say, uh, any guy. Uh, with the right set of tools can be a father but mm-hmm. it takes a man to become a dad um, there you go I don't know when you're ready you're ready uh, because when I decided to uh, mess around with fire back then I was ready to settle down and this was when I was way back uh, 25 so yeah so, some people marry at 30 Uh, mm-hmm. Some people marry late, some people marry early. But uh, all I could say is, if as long as you marry for the right reason, why not? Yep, point taken, sir. Um, another question is, how do you discipline your kids? Uh, definitely not the same way my parents dis- disciplined me back in the days. <laughs> like, um, th- I could only count the times. When I had to uh, raise my hand on my kid, like uh, spank her with a belt or uh, one of slippers, um, I usually talk with her, reason with her. Um, I think of it this way: uh, now nowadays kids are exposed to so many tech, um, so much stuff in Google that. They should be smart enough to be reasoned with, and well, most of the time it works. Most of the time. Mm-hmm. How about you, sir? Have you experienced being disciplined the old-fashioned way? Oh, for God's sake! I can't <laughs> count how many punishments I had to go through back in the days. Uh, kneeling on salt. Um, <laughs> Jack. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the belt. Not just the belt, yes, sir. but the belt. Being hit by the belt buckle, uh, there's oh, that. Um, of course, there's the stick, right? Yes. <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, I guess the only thing I skipped back in the day was being placed in the, inside a sack. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I skipped, man. <laughs> Did your perception for your father ever change when he disciplined you? I mean, for me, it didn't. But I'm I'm curious as to how you uh, found it. Well, uh, I think of it this way: the things that we go through in life makes us who we are today. Uh, so, without my father's discipline, uh, harsh as it may be uh, in today's standards, I won't be the man that I am today. That's true. That's true. Now that I think about it. Uh, looking back at those experiences, I am somewhat thankful to a degree because I think the whipping, the kneeling, pointed me to the right direction. <laughs> True. I mean, uh, we are here after all. Uh, we didn't do so bad, right? <laughs> I I would have to agree. Anywho, next question is. Uh, between your partner and yourself, who do you think is the cool parent? Well, I would say me. Uh, well, my kiddo, she's daddy's little girl. Um, she usually just gets away with stuff with me. Can I say? <laughs> how would how would Sean looks in describe a cool parent? What are the uh, standards for that? I would say somebody who will be there to guide you when you need it, but not to the point where in you feel like your life is being controlled. Um, somebody who would allow you to grow um, and experience life um, as as you would. Um, somebody who lets you make mistakes, but is there to help you correct them 
wow i mean experience is the best teacher right <laughs> yep pretty much i i think our listeners can also agree with you on that one that leads me to another question actually um what surprised you the most about being a dad well i already knew it's, it was gonna be hard um like molding an entirely new person to be better than you but what surprised me most is i guess uh how much i see myself in my kid like despite uh, your kid being a uh, be- being, being a girl a, exactly despite her being a girl um i could see like the way she smiles reminds me mm-hmm. of my wicked smirk <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, when she smiles sometimes, I know she's up to no good just by looking at her smile. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, the, the similarities uh, between me and her, I could see it. Uh, I could also see some traits from my wife um, that's in her. So, in a sense, it's just amazing how a kid can be a combination of their parents. I do, however, wonder... What do first-time dads need to expect? Like, let's say, if my partner is expecting, what should I expect from from her and you know from the whole thing? I know this is gonna be vague, but um, <laughs> I would say expect the worst, hope for the best. Um, it's definitely gonna be a life changing experience um, if you're ready to become bad it's, it's gonna change you uh, the way you look at life is definitely gonna be different uh, you're no longer the center of your universe it's gonna be the kid that's awesome that's awesome man but if I may ask were there times when you had to change your kids diapers oh in the middle plenty. of the night oh yes brother it happens um, because uh, there, there were times where in, I'd get especially when way back when I was single so they'd ask me to uh, babysit for them while they go on I don't know business trip or well wherever uh, and yeah I'll be stuck with their kid and then yeah middle of the night changing diapers uh, preparing the meal so the, the whole shebang uh, singing a lullaby and all that <laughs> <laughs> I thought those are urban legends but Okay, that's noted. Thank you, sir. I'll take note of that. Well, a man's got to do what a man's got to do, right? Yes, sir. On to the next question I have here. Um, what is it like being a girl dad? Dad to a girl? Um, for me, it's fantastic, really. Um, when, my, when my wife was pregnant, uh, you know how those old folks would say, based on the shape of the, the belly, uh, it's going to be a boy, so on and so forth. Everyone uh, in my family and in her family were, were saying that it's going to be a, it's going to be a boy. I was the only, uh-huh. I was the only guy, uh, I guess I, I was the only one who was wishing for a girl, actually. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh, for me, girls are a bit more affectionate compared to boys. Um, I know... I tried uh, when I was a kid, being affectionate to my parents, but uh, it, there's that limit for some odd reason for, uh, for guys. Uh, but for girls, it seems to continue. Like um, there are times where in my kid, she's already 13, and she just randomly hugs you or, or holds your hand or something like that. Uh, those. Those moments of affection is what I was longing for when I wished for a girl. So I guess uh, I got my wish. <laughs> <laughs> That's really nice to know. And um, are there things you wish you had done differently now that you're a father or as a father? What I, I guess um, when resi- raising your kid? Things I would have done differently. Now that's a tricky question, Bob, in the sense that if I change things different, would I have the same kid? Um, <laughs> would she come out the same way she is now? Um, I, I would say, I mean, I, I know I could have been better, but uh, the way things are going right now, I won't change a thing. Uh, even the part we're in, 
I preempted uh, our marriage by getting my girl pregnant. I won't change a thing. <laughs> Whatever floats our boat. Yep. I don't want to change uh, what's happened, what I have right now. Uh, I don't want to uh-huh. risk it. It is what it is. And um, what do you enjoy most about being a father? The first thing that comes to mind. I'd say those times where you could bond with your kid and be a kid yourself. Um, there have been times where and my wife would ah, <laughs> give us a sideway glance because uh, <laughs> I'd behave like my kid or even more so. <laughs> um, yeah, th- those bonding times. Your kid times, brings uh, out the kid in you, basically. There you go. She keeps me young. <laughs> would you say having or taking care of a pet is different from, you know, having kids? Because I'm at, at that stage in my life. Raising a pet would teach you some of the responsibilities that are needed to be uh, in parenthood, but it's way different. Uh, pets, well, they don't really have opinion. Uh, opinions like they don't have tantrums well maybe they do but uh <laughs> not like people do and um for the most part if you're raising a dog dogs tend to live in the now uh you you punish them this time next time next thing you know it's wagging its tail looking at you <laughs> uh, kids don't do that <laughs> <laughs> yes sir they probably give you a silent um, treatment for a couple of days if you uh, are too harsh with them. So yeah, it's way different. I would have to agree. And I'm taking notes. The next one is a bit personal. What was the uh, one? What What was one of the hardest moments you had uh, being a father? Uh, hardest moment would have been. Since, well, uh, since I got married, I've been working in the call center industry for, well, since forever, I guess. <laughs> uh, and doing the night shift and all that, um, those moments when my kid would hold my hand and say, Dad, don't go. I want you here. Those were the hardest moments for me uh, because, well, you kind of have to work to earn a living, but then again, there's this kid asking you to stay, but you know you can't even if you wanted to. Yeah, I guess that's, I, I think that's pretty, pretty relatable if you ask me. I don't have a kid, but I, I know the feeling. I used to do that with my father and mother. And yeah. Emotional blackmail. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a couple, a couple more here. Is there something you've always wanted to, but never got the chance? Uh, something I've always wanted to do, or be able to do, but haven't had a chance, uh, would be... I uh, want to be a millionaire, man. Who doesn't? <laughs> but, yeah. Who, haven't had who a does this? <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're getting there. All of us. <laughs> Yeah, we may I have guess, earned yeah. millions, but we spent millions as well. So what can I say? <laughs> we can't. We haven't saved it. And um, yeah, one more question before we wrap this up: What advice would you give to soon-to-be fathers or first-time dads? That that includes me. Ooh, uh, patience. Lots of patience, and expect changes. Um, definitely uh, uh, a change in perspective um, in priorities because well being a dad means you kind of have to put somebody else uh, in front it's not gonna be all about you anymore so yeah there's that <laughs> expect change in uh, a big change in your life pretty well said if you ask me alrighty I guess this wraps up one of um, our episodes in uh, Sophie Radio. Uh, Sean Lux, thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us. As a matter of fact, I have learned a lot and noted down a lot of things. <laughs> and I hope, I think, 
I hope uh, fatherhood suits me. Any any parting words, Sean, for our listeners? Well, hang in there, Babalicious. Uh, and to all the <laughs> other fathers out there from Sophie, you guys bailed on me. Dang it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the office soon. <laughs> anyway, that's all for us, folks. Stay tuned for more Sophie content. Stay tuned for more Sophie radio topics. And happy Father's Day to everyone. Enjoy your day, guys. Happy Father's Day. Hang in there. It's going to be better soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Stay safe, everyone. Bye.